And now it's time for Rum Reviews with Chester A. Rum. We are getting sued. Hmm. Huh. Alright then. Fine evening. Screech rum! Screech rum, you say? Indeed! Straight from Newfoundland! World famous, no less! Oh my. This miserable little pile of screech is actually a Jamaican rum, dating back roughly 300 years ago when it was traded to Newfoundlanders in exchange for really salty cod and tuna. Kawabunga. This was one of the major sources of legally imported rum in Canada at the time, and people jumped, I mean jumped, on those unlabeled bottles of blindness and boosting alcohol. Like rabid same persons with something to forget. The Newfoundland and Labrador Liquor Corporation is desperately trying to sell this as some mystic liquid forge of myths and legends. But the boring truth of it is that it's mainly composed of four Jamaican rums brewed at Appleton Estate. Yes, Appleton. Most average of all the average rums ever made. Ever. This mess is then stored into a bunch of decrepit old white oak bourbon barrels for about two years, and eventually released to the thirsty Canadian populace to sip at lunchtime with their thirsty children. The result? Aside from juvenile drunkenness and brain development issues, Street Rum was the grand winner of the Honor Awards in 2011. Oh really? That's cool! Kinda. Question. It was an Honor Award. Some WordPress blog about booze, run by this one guy, he has a pretty great mustache, though. So. Oh! Well, that was, uh, informative. Now let us taste this glorious rum. Like gentlemen. Indeed. But wait. Something's missing. Hmm. You're right. Something really classy dudes like us should never go without. Oh, I know! Cool fracking hats! Here we are. Drinking huts on. Now I feel classy. Cheers, mate. Expired. I think we drank it wrong. Oh, maybe you mixed the bottles. I mean, this is engine oil, right? Right? Okay. Clearly, this was our fault. Let's try this more traditionally. Right. On the rocks. Mm. 
ice. Anything would taste better than this. Hey, you know what is better than this? Yellow snow! Wait, wait. No reason to walk out just yet. Not before we tried the easy. Good old rum and coke. I know why. It's this rum. I feel like it's fucking mocking me. Wait. I'm not that drunk. Jet. Why? What is this famous for? Vomit inducement? What drunken clown smoking retard came up with this terrible idea? See you in hell, street fucker! Wait! We've been through so much shit. No! Again with the singing! And no, we haven't! This is our first show! Huh. You're right. That was stupid. Alright. But before we give up, let's at least learn more about the enemy. Yeah. You're right. As Shipwreck always says, knowing is half the battle. What's the other half? Before being an Appleton bastard offspring, Screech Rum was composed of ungodly amounts of alcohol thrown in unsanitary barrel used to carry molasses and other filthy liquids and sediments. It was an anonymous source of passing out. Synonym in every way to any cheap liver melting moonshine of the time. At least it was. Until the term screech emerged sometime during World War II. There once was this random American commanding officer passing by Newfoundland where, for some reason, he was treated to a huge ass steak dinner. After unbuttoning his pants pressurized by all this delicious meat, our gracious Newfoundlander host whips up a bottle of the then unnamed rubbing alcohol and offers a glass to our unsuspecting officer who, I assume, also had a really cool stash. Once week later and people are gathering from miles around, seeking the source of this terrifying shriek of utter tear and pain. Here they find their good officer, regaining his composure on the floor, looking like death incarnate. An American sergeant bursts through asking, What the crap is an ungodly speech? To which our newfoundlander Duder and his marketing team replies, Screech, this the rum, my son! And now we know. Wait, Screech rum is made with what? A riddleness! Well, it was, to the point where they proudly named it after an actual heartfelt acknowledgement of its undrinkability. I'm beginning to think its original form must have been pretty great. Surely much better than this. So why is this award-winning piss so intolerable? What are we doing wrong? Well, see, Screech Rum is so bloody mystic, it eventually grew into this twisted sect thing called the Screechers, with a ceremony and shit. Well, there you go, the ceremony. That's what's missing. Why didn't we try it first? Because it's stupid. God, it's so stupid. Let's see. Uh, get on one knee. Take a swig. All right. Make out with... Whoa, 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 whoa! You gotta kiss the fish. If you're gonna get screeched in, it's good luck for your baby. You don't happen to have a codfish or a similar type of sea creature lying about, do you? Surprisingly, no! Well, there goes that idea. 
Would have been a really cool scene, too. And really fucking stupid. What's the point? Srum destroyed everything that was good about living. It even destroyed our hats. Remember when we used to have hats? What happened to those? Oh. Let's just send it here. Have some more Goya. Extra petroleum. Good idea! This isn't extreme at all. Tastes like screech! Screech Rum sucks! Nothing can make this cat this enjoyable. Not even the burning, fiery need to get shit faced. It's simply awful! Dreadful! It blows! It stinks! It's sickening! Nauseating! Shit! Poop! Ass! God, I need a drink! No! You fool! It doesn't smell good. Am I wrong?